Hello everyone, this is Professor Vijay Sekhat from the Science Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to discuss unit number 4, 3D concept and object representation. In which, these are the topics. Out of this, first three are covered in previous video and in fourth video we have covered this particular two representation of cubic spline. Now in this video we are going to cover a cardinal spline and cochinic bottle spline. First one is cardinal spline. As like hermit spline, cardinal spline also interpolating a piecewise cubic with a specified endpoint tangent at a boundary at each section. But in this spline, we need not have to input a value of endpoint tangent. As we have seen in a previous video that for a hermit interpolation, we need to input a value of dpk and dpk1 that is a first order derivative at the end point but in a cardinal spline we need not to give that values in cardinal spline value of a slope at control point is calculated from two immediate neighbor control points so here we are going to use a four control point for calculating a equation of this particular curve section so one control point is previous then a first control point and one control point is after the last control point. So we are going to use a four control point and using this four control point we are going to calculate the slope of the equation. Its spline section is completely specified by a four control points. The middle two points are two endpoints of a cow section and other two are used to calculate a slope of the endpoint. These two are endpoint of the curve section and these two are used for calculating a slope. Now parametric equation or cardinal spline is first P0 equals to P that is a starting point of this curve section will be this ending point of this curve section will be PK plus 1 that is P1 is equals to PK plus 1 and now a first order derivative that is P dash of 0 will be equals to 1 by 2 into 1 minus T into PK minus PK minus PK plus 1 minus PK minus 1 that is this control point minus this control point and based on this control point we are going to calculate a slope of the cow section. Similarly for P dash of 1 we are going to calculate a difference of P2K and PK and use that for a calculation of tangent or slope of that curve where a parameter t is called a tension parameter since it controls how loosely or tightly the cardinal spline fits the control point where t is less than 0 then it will form a loose curve and if t is greater than 0 it will form tighter curve now where t is equals to 0 that class of curve is referred to as a catmull round spline or o-rouse this is a special case if t value is equal to 0, then t is known as catmull round spline or all spline. Using a similar method like Hermit, we can obtain p of u is equal to u cube u square u into 1 into matrix for cardinal spline. In Hermit, Hermit, uh, Hermit interpolation, here it is mh that is matri matrix for Hermit interpolation. And here in Hermit interpolation, it is having pk, pk plus 1, dpk and dpk plus 1 because where in Hermit interpolation, we were providing a first order parametric derivative. But instead of that, we are having here a four control point and we are not going to provide any uh, first order derivatives value at a end point where a cardinal spline matrix will be matrix for cardinal spline is equals to this one and where s is equals to 1 minus t into 2 here we are used s for a simplicity purpose only and here this matrix can be calculated as similar method like hermit interpolation now put the value of matrix for cardinal spline in equation of p of u that we we can put a matrix for cardinal spline in this equation and then we are going to multiply this matrix with this one and it will give me this output and again this multiply this matrix with this matrix and we'll get equation which is like this and in which we are separating this control point and all rest terms we're going to put in a bracket because it is similar similar to hermit interpolation we are going to represent it with the cardinal blending function and it is denoted by cr of 0 cr 0 of u similarly 
work C R of u for k is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and that is known as cardinal blending function that bracket term is known as blending function and it is represented by C R of 0. Here we can see we are having all four control points so we need not to specify any extra first order derivatives. Now next is Kochenak bertel spline it is extension of cardinal spline in which two additional parameters are introduced into a constraint equation for defining a Kochenak bertel spline it provides a more flexibility in adjusting the shape of the cow sections because there are two extra parameters and that parameter equations will be p of 0 is equal to pk p of 1 is equal to pk plus 1 and p dash of 0 will be equals to 1 by 2 into 1 minus t into bracket 1 plus b into 1 minus c into pk minus pk minus 1 plus 1 minus b into 1 plus c into pk minus 1 minus pk and similarly for p dash of 1 here a two parameter that is b and c are introduced as a new parameter b is a bias parameter and c is a continuity parameter and t parameter which is same as cardinal spline that is tension parameter in this spline parametric derivatives may not be continuous across the section boundaries and Bias B is used to adjust amount that a cow bends at each end of the section. How much uh, bend, how, how much curve, curve will be, how much bend at end of the section, it is decided by bias parameter B. A parameter C is used to control a continuity of tangent vector across the boundaries of the section. If C is non-zero, there is a discontinuity in slope of the curve across the section boundaries. It is used in an animation path in particular abrupt changes like if we want to change suddenly change a path of any particular animation or animated object at that time we are going to use a non-zero values of a parameter c and it will pro produce a discontinuous output. Thank you that's it. Have, keep learning, keep watching. Have a nice day.